Homeland Security Expo at New Delhi's Bharat Mandapa brought together defense experts, operators and tech innovators from across the world. Now with India and India the world ramping up security spending, Chakra went to see what's on offer and what's next. Hi, this is me Sandeep Punithan at the 10th International Police Expo at Bharat Mandapa. And I'm at the Gwipa uh, Armor stall. I have in my hands here a weapon that many of you might recognize as the Ugram, but it's not quite the Ugram. I have with me Sushrut Reddy of uh, Dwipa. Sushrut, welcome to Chakra News. Thank you. Tell me what I have in my hands here. It's an Ugram, but not exactly an Ugram. Absolutely. So it's an Ugram. We've changed the lower body and created something called a ULMG, which is an ultra right. light machine gun. Right. It has a capacity of 50 rounds with a drum magazine attached to it. Wow. How do I take the magazine yeah. off. Oh, is that it? Yep. Oh, amazing. Yep. So 50 round 50 drum magazine. 50 round drum, 7.62 to 51 mm caliber. Right, right. How do you think of developing this? Uh, ultra light machine guns are a concept internationally. Right. LMGs weigh about 8 to 9 kgs. Right. And if not more. The concept is a single soldier can carry this around. Right. And this is going to weigh about 5 to 6 kgs. So the concept was to for a single person to carry it around. Right. So is it heavier than a uh, Ugram or? It's uh, heavier than Ugram. Ugram's below four kgs. Right. So it's going to be about five, if not five point five. Is it being tested in the field? Yes, it's in process. We are undergoing tri internal trials right now. Right. And we'll soon be giving it to forces to test. Right. Right. And is is this in response to a particular tender, or is this? An initiative of your company? It's an initiative of our company. We've seen the use. We've gotten requests from the forces as well. Right. In private conversations. Right. And that's when we went out and started developing this weapon. Right. Very interesting. Uh, uh, UMG, an ultra light machine gun. It's a concept that's very new. It's been coming into battlefields now in Russia, Ukraine, if I'm yes. correct. Your yep. Kalashnikov has come Kalashnikov out with a, a UMG uh, yes. a, a, a platform very recently. And this is something that uh, your company has come out with just in time. And uh, oh, oh, what is the potential for this? I mean, who do you see as the users for this uh, I think platform? Anyone at a border post, at a security right. post, anyone who's stationary or even moving, but it's more diff uh, uh, mounting it on a platform. Most right. LMGs nowadays, there are a lot of LMGs with 50 rounds, right. but significantly heavy. Right. They can just use this mounted on RCWS vehicle, right. Right. lesser payload for the vehicle, right. lesser payload on vehicles. Right. Right, absolutely. It can replace the LMG in multiple use cases. The LMG, which uh, the existing uh, LMGs, LMGs for both the BSF and the Indian Army. Yes. The 7.62 into 51. 51 yeah, that's right. It's a lighter version it's of the existing 7.62 into 51. Fascinating. Uh, you know, I, I was looking at some other products on your stall here. And uh, tell me about this. This is the U19. That's a U19, which is a 9 to 9 by 19, 19 SMG. SMG, right. It's a very sleek weapon as... Very sleek, poly single aluminum body right. machined out of. Right, right. And uh, tell me about the development of this weapon. How long has this been in... The develop it's been under development for over uh, 18 months in-house. Right. We've not spoken about it publicly to anyone. Is this your first time? You first time in public? we're speaking about it at All right. this expo. Yeah, here you go. This, uh, yeah. <laughs> breaking news, the U19 from uh, Dwipa Armor and... Uh, uh, what is the, uh, uh, are you, are you offering it to any of the security? We are courses? offering it. So right now we've entered, uh, applied to a few tenders by BSF, CIS7 staff. Right. We'll be undergoing trials very, very soon. Right. We're very confident about the weapon and we weren't right. ready to talk about it till we had the entire weapon system ready. Right. And now we're finally ready with the system. And this is, this is entirely in-house again. And 100% in-house. It's an IDDM product. You see, right. designed, developed and manufactured. Absolutely. Every single product is from India. Oh. Brilliant. I mean, this is, th that's the, that's the word that got me right there. And it's there on the uh, weapon as well. It's Make in India IDDM. Indigenously designed, developed and manufactured uh, 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 product, uh, prototype. But uh, tell me a bit about Dwipa, uh, Sushut. I mean, how long have you been in the arms business? And So Dwipa was established in 2018 by right. three friends right. who wanted to develop small arms for the country to indigenize weapons. Right. They spent about the first five years roaming the globe, looking at different weapon systems. Right. COVID, as we all know, was an issue in between as well. Right. So in 2023, the company got the Ugram, which is a right. TOT transfer from DRDO. Right. Which was, we got a DCPP, we were the DCPP partners for it for as well. For the Ugram. Yeah, let's not Ugram. forget, this is the Ugram. That's uh, a DRDO designed weapon. 
produced by uh, Dweepa, of course, uh, which is uh, in trials now. And you're looking at a lot of... Uh, yes. MHA, it's past two MHA. MHA board trials. Past Currently, MHA trials. army trials are under progress. Right. And army trials, you're hopeful of orders for this for the Indian Army. Yes. Right. And uh, what is it that you've changed uh, in the uh, uh, Ugram ever since uh, taking it from the uh, DRD? Have you brought in some innovation into this product? We've worked on the look and stuff. We aren't allowed to change too much, Sandeep, because right. once it passes a MHA, and based on the QRTD, right. that weapon, we, we aren't allowed to change the design over a certain point. Okay. So we've used this and developed the U-39 as well, right. and the U-45 AR as well. Right. What is the U-39? The U-39 is 7.6-39mm caliber weapon, right. based on the Ugram platform. Right. So what we've done and tried to do is we try to use similar components of furniture. Right, so right. same lower handguard, same upper handguard, same buttstock. Right. We want to try and reduce the number of SKUs in the military and the armed forces. Right. When they right. have singular SKUs, spares are easier. People right. know how to use it. Right. People know the, the complexity of the war field reduces. Right. And that's the concept of repeating components across our weapon platform. Right. So standardizing on components, which makes it easier for you Correct. to kind of uh, you know integrate different calibers of yeah. weapons and this is actually like a this is an AK type weapon AK from, type weapon uh, Dweepa is this also in trials where, this is also it? in trials MHA or? yeah we've not yet approached MHA we're in right. the process of approaching MHA right right so how long did it take you to design this uh, and how did you improve the uh, 76239 uh, so AK AKM okay so this was based uh, this took about a year in development right. it's been in development We've improved it by the looks of it, and it's also ba based on the Ugram. Right. But it's a 39 mm platform, and we claiming that it has higher accuracy than AK. Right. With the Ugram uh, barrel uh, type rifling is similar to the Ugram. Right. And also, the internal mechanism is similar to the Ugram. The breech right. block disconnection and stuff. Right. We just shrunk the Ugram a little and right. created the 39 mm. Right. So it's not entirely an AKM or an AK series rifle. It's not an AK series, but the same caliber as the AK. Right. You can compete with the AK in any aspect of the right, AK. Right. So this is um, a 7 point, it's it's an Ugram in a 7.62 into 39 configuration. Yes. Right. So I, I, I think it's the, uh, the 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 magazine was the giveaway here. Yeah. Uh, the AK's uh, banana type magazine. Yeah. But uh, this is this is this is an interesting uh, thing and this actually tells you about this concept of uh, spiral development. Absolutely. When you take one weapon up and then you're able to iterate it, you know, bring it out into different Calibers. What is the other uh, platform that you developed apart from this? The other platform is seven, uh, uh, the five point five to forty five mm right. AR. Right. And which is, uh, is this 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 gives me um, an incest kind of feel. You know, it it feels like I'm holding it's the, the old similar inside. caliber, so you it's might feel like that. <laughs> right. So the AR concept for the 45 is a right. longer barrel, right? Which means more accuracy and higher 300 meters right. effective range. Right. 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 Okay. And uh, how is it different from a uh, Insas? Significantly different than an Insas. Um, bodies are different. Right. It's I'm, uh, I'm, is it a machine body or is it a stamped uh, uh, receiver? Machine body. Machine, completely. Machine, upper and lower body. Right. It's also similar to the Ugram. The concept right. is training schools, army, general personnel and stuff. Once they train on one weapon in our yes. platform, all weapons get used. They get used to similar right. furniture. Right. They use the issues with spares and stuff. Muscle memory. Muscle memory. Right. Which is key. And that's the reason the Ugram is also based on the Insas a little. Right. The army was trained on a certain weapon. They're right. used to that certain weapon. Right. And they need to be quick enough to react in quick yes, time yes. and that's the reason we've based a few features we've improved the internals we've improved the externals right. the general usage of the weapon is a little similar to the insas right, right. so it, it, it's like a it looks like an insas uh, from the exterior but it's uh, as Sushir just told me it's actually a completely different weapon it is the Ugram in a 5.56 into 45 so it's, it's fascinating it's out of that one Ugram yeah. design you've actually created a family, family of, of weapons. weapons so that's that's the fascinating part about uh, uh, you know, indigenously designed, developed, manufactured weapons uh, and this concept of spiral development that we've been talking about. Thank you. There's one more thing, uh, drones and guns. And from what I see here, so Shrut, you've combined both drones and guns. What am I looking at here? So this is our autonomous weaponized drone platform right. that we are currently developing. It should right. be ready for trials over the next two months. Fascinating. The idea behind this is 
to have use AI latest technology, right. use electronic firing from a distance, right. where a soldier can fly the drone, go to eliminate the target, and the drone can return, right. and the soldier's life is not put at risk in any way or oh, form. Oh, fabulous! And this is an Ugram. So this is actually a ULMG, right? But actually, we're calling it a U fifty one D. Right. As you see, we modified it a little. There's no butt stock. There's right. no pistol grip. The trigger is different. The trigger guard's different. Right. It's much lighter. We've also done a few changes for recoil management as well, right? Because the weapon can be very, very loud, and the flash also doesn't need to be contained as it's right. in the air. Right, right, right. So we focused only primarily on recoil, right? And that's been our focus for this weapon platform, right? And how many? Uh, what's the weight of this platform? So it's going to be about four point five kgs only, right? Since we're going aerial, weight's very, very critical for us, right? And it's a seven point six two into fifty one mm caliber, fifty round drum mags, right? So it, it is basically your uh, uh, UMG. But in a on a drone, it's a UMG with a few more changes. Right. You see, this is not then the UMG. Uh huh. The flash and hider. The flash, yeah, the flash eliminator. In yeah. Internally, also we've done a few changes. Right. The buffer and stuff focuses primarily on recoil. Oh, right. Fascinating. Weapon. And how heavy is your drone? The drone is about seventy kgs. Right. With the payload capacity of about thirty kgs. Thirty kgs. It can fly for about forty-five minutes at sea right. level. Right. And can get recharged in about forty minutes. In forty minutes. And uh, is this a, a GSQR that you're responding to? Is it? An initiative that Dwipa Defence has taken on its own. It's an initiative that Dwipa Defence has taken up as well. Right. There has been a massive requirement from Northern Command, right, as well as BSF and stuff. And I've seen the Expo. Every single mm. person from the CPAFs or the armed forces that show up here, yeah, want to know when they can we can t test this out and when they can. Buy right. This. It's an it's absolute big, store big shopper hit. here. In fact, here at Defence Expo, I can, uh, uh, you know, testify the fact that this is the one. Stall that everyone's stopping at and taking close look at because you know this is this is a fascinating concept. We've only seen it in uh, Instagram reels and we've seen a lot of social media around this. But I think Dwipa has taken stolen a march on uh, all its rivals by you know producing this uh, uh, drone with a, a flying machine gun. Uh, but uh, this is also IDDM. Yes, it is completely IEDM as well. Right, right. No Chinese components in this. Zero percent Chinese components, and we've right. made sure of that. Right, but where, where are you getting the drone from? Are you developing it yourselves? You have a partner. So drone, we have a partner. So Paras Defense is our partner for right. the drone right. and the gimbal system and the electronics right. as well. So uh, is this in trials currently? I, I'm aware of the fact that mm -hmm. you can't reveal a lot of details, yeah. but uh, it, it is under trials, right? That's that's what it you is can under tell trials. Us. I can't say too much more. Right. Vipa only talks about weapon platforms, and once they're completely ready for initiation, right, right, and that's going to be the case for this as well. Oh, absolutely! I, I love that spirit. You know, you only talk about the proof of the pudding is in the eating, yes, and we absolutely. can't wait to see this uh, baby in the field. And I think that's going to happen very soon, as you should just tell us. But Thank you very much, uh, Sushil, for so this much. whirlwind tour of uh, Dweepa Defense and wish you all the very best in your quest for IDDM products. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Thank you.